welcome to the vlog. You love me like that. You love me like that. I am starting today's vlog on a Saturday night because it is currently the 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. We don't have any plans. And I'm just like, I want to talk to you guys. And I've been feeling super inspired to vlog lately. I got back from Indianapolis, back to Chicago, and I'm just going to unpack my things. I have most of my clothes I like wash at my mom's, but you know, like the place is a mess and it's just like not really my vibe right now, but this is like real life reality. Actually, um, I spent my Christmas with my mom and my boyfriend in Indianapolis at my mom's and we went to my cousin's house, it was super fun. But the 26th, the day after Christmas, we had to put our dog, Bebita, down. Um, it's been really sad because um, she's old, she was 15, she was having a lot of health issues and it got to the point where it was just so bad that the vet had no type of diagnosis. On, it was just it was just bad so we had to make that difficult decision and i literally have been so heartbroken james has been so heartbroken so has my mom and i appreciate all the love that i've been getting on my socials as far as like people sending their condolences like baby that meant so much to us she was our little baby like it was it's just been so sad and i've had her for her whole life for the whole 15 years i got her when i was 15 and i'm 30 so she's been with me through high school college adulthood moving to a new city with us like it, it's just sad but you know we have to keep going um 2023 was probably like the worst year ever of my life losing my dad Losing a job, losing my little baby, my babita, West Highland Terrier. Um, but 2024 is going to be of God. It's going to become coming with blessings. I have a lot that's coming in store. I already know it. I'm claiming it. So, yeah, um, that's what that's what that's what's been going on. Right. So, if you follow me on socials and things like that. You know that I have been on the Samba hate train. I've literally been talking so much crap about them. I'm like, everybody that wears them is a follower unless you're like a true soccer girl. You're all just copycats. Like everybody looks the same, whatever. And people are talking about 2024, the Sambas are going out. Even though Sambas was the the sneaker of the year for 2023 it was like announced at footwear news or whatever um but i've been hating on them hard um but there's this tiktok that's like i'm that type of person that i'll knock it before i try it and when i'm telling you i'm eating up my words right now i literally all the smack that i've talked They ended up in my closet. They ended up in my closet. They ended, in my, ended up in my closet. Now, do not come at me and say you're just hating on the Sambas because you're trying to be different. No. I literally had tried them on and they look so ugly on me. When I tell you I did not like how they looked, but I know why I didn't like them. So I tried the ones without the long tongue. Uh, okay, first of all, this backtrack. There is this TikTok that went viral. I think this girl's name is Cleo. She did a DIY of the Sambas. She got the Sambas with the long tongue, folded it over and customized it with a bunch of pins. And I was like, oh my God, like, oh my gosh. This makes me want to wear the Sambas. So I think the Sambas with the folded over tongue look best on me. I tried them on and I thought they looked so good folded over so here they are oh my gosh <laughs> my boyfriend got them for me as a gift so i'm like thank you so much but i ordered a bunch of pins from timu because everyone else is taxing on pins like one pin ten dollars please i need so many for both of these shoes 
for the pair so i got a bunch on timu for like 30 dollars. so <laughs> they're literally the same ones that i've seen on etsy and i'm like somebody's lying somebody's lying with the pricing i don't know what it is but when i get them i can definitely i'm gonna make a video on customizing it so i'm going to fold them over i'm going to put all the pins right here and that's how i'm gonna wear them i like how they look like on me i love the folded over ones i think the extra bulk is what i was looking for but i'm obsessed i hate my words up i'm so embarrassed coming on here saying how much i hated them and now i have them that's fine we're human last month me was different today me we're a different person we're constantly evolving tastes are constantly changing so i'm that type of person that i will knock it before i try it through and through through and through so today um my man and i went to second street to sell stuff and it it didn't go good it didn't go good for james for me, they bought everything. Like, I had a whole Supreme bag. Just to give you context, the bag was bigger than this and it was full of clothes. They bought everything that I had in there. But they offered me $28. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it. Because for some reason, on Poshmark, stuff is not selling as fast. Second of all, if I was going to donate it to Goodwill anyway... And I'm like, I might as well get money out of it. I'm unemployed. I need something. So I, you know, went in. They bought everything, gave me $28. I was like, well, that's gas. <laughs> that's food. That's something. You know what I mean? So and it wasn't, it's just like at this point, I'm like, well, you know, it was sitting in my wardrobe and I made $28 off of the stuff that was sitting in my wardrobe. So I'm like, whatever, that's cool. But the other day, not today, but the other day I went to, we went to second street oh my gosh oh my hat's still in here i gotta put this back did not get that at second street but the other day we went and i found this super fire shirt in the men's section i need to wash it but it's actually 100 percent silk so i don't know i don't know if i'll maybe i'll just steam it but this is so cute this was 29 dollars what brand is it I don't know but it's a hundred percent silk the print is so fire like i can wear this with so much the thing that got me is that it's just like a natural material like it's silk you usually cannot get silk brand new for 29 dollars. so i'm gonna see how i can wash this because i don't want to ruin it but i just want to show you guys this fine i think this is amazing and it doesn't even smell like anything it doesn't smell like used or anything, you know, like that Goodwill smell. I actually got this shirt for a collaboration that I did with The Mile. The Mile is like this platform where um, it's like live shopping platform app where you can see a bunch of different content creators, different lives and the different items that they have. And I did a live with them and this brand is called Mott 50 and all their clothes has like this really cool technology where it's like it has um spf so basically like all their clothing is sun protection um and i thought that was really cool so i was like this brand is something that i'm here for so i also got pants and a shirt and a tank top corset tank so i'm like a oh yeah so i forgot to tell you it did not go good for my boyfriend because he was trying to sell some stuff at second street he ended up not selling his shoes because he had two pairs of air forces and they were trying to give him 20 dollars for the two pairs he was like no nah, i'm gonna just sell this on my own like yeah ten dollars for each pair are you kidding me like they weren't even the condition of them it's pretty good like I don't know what they were talking about, but he was like, nah, bro. So don't sell sneakers at Second Street if you want actual money. Now, if you don't care, you just want to get rid of it, it's a good place to dump them. Oh my gosh, first of all, these pants from Zara. Obsessed. Oh my gosh. 
I love these so much. They got super wrinkled because folded them, but. Okay guys, so I already put all like the clothes and stuff away. Now I have to do the rest in one bag. Now I have to do the rest of my, um, oh my gosh. I just realized I forgot a pair of shoes at my mom's, but it's fine. I'm going to go back next month anyway for like all-star. <gasps> all-star weekend in indianapolis so that's fine i have plenty of shoes to choose from it's the doc martens um adina flower they're like mary janes <laughs> i'm going to put these back with you guys okay first pair that i'm putting back um because i haven't talked sneakers with you guys in a minute but the first pair that i brought that i packed for indy that now i'm my breath. So the first pair that I packed that I'm now putting back in the box are the Sean Weatherspoon Gazelles. I absolutely love these. This clear gum sole with the hemp and this green the this stitching. Um it's hemp made out of hemp. I love this white contrast stitching against this like deep green. Um, I'm obsessed with this green right now and then this pop of like maroon in the back and it's kind of like um, It kind of feels like suede with the Sean Weatherspoon logo Such a beauty It's definitely gonna be a little tough to wear this like when the weather starts getting like a little more wintry and stuff but when the weather is good not raining or snow or anything this is such a good shoe oh i'm on the box right now but yeah this is a good shoe i highly highly recommend it i got this from the sneaker boutique called corporate got them so yeah love these the boots that i packed are these tall knee-high boots from the brand called knee-high n h there is an editor on tiktok a fashion editor that posted about them and bella hadid was wearing them and i was like girl these are so fire so i got them too when they drop because i don't think they're currently in stock i think they're like one of those like they'd be selling out really fast because i got this on a drop and so far i've had to replace the heel tab twice so the heel tab that comes with them is not that great quality. It wears down so fast. So I bought a bunch of heel tabs on Amazon. So that way I can just keep replacing them. But these are so good. I've worn these so much. They're very comfortable. And I just love the whole like design of them. These gold Ferragamos. I ended up not wearing these or the boots. But these gold Ferragamos that I got from the Real Real. I need to go get them fixed because in the summertime... I scuffed them really bad it's so painful like it was a night where I didn't think I was gonna be walking that much I ended up walking a lot and I was like eh, I shouldn't have worn these so that's the thing about living in a big city like if I knew I was gonna be walking that much I wouldn't have worn these or I you know would pack a different shoe to walk in and then like actually this is for the look oh. Cause I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad girl. Two, I packed the Jacquemus Moyen size bag. Absolutely love this. I wear this to death. Literally one of my favorite Jacquemus. Actually, it's my favorite Jacquemus bag that I own. Oh. Besides Le Bambino Clutch. This one's so cute. But you know, you gotta be careful when you wear white. Um, I stuff all my dust bags in my Telfar so that way the Telfar bag can like stay up and yeah. So the other bag that I packed that I did not wear, I didn't wear both of these, I overpacked for real, is the um, YSL Toy Lulu. It has been worn to the ground and I'm still wearing it to this day. Literally like, 
I love this hardware. It is just, it's been holding up so nice. There's corners that are wearing though. When I went to Europe, I wore this bag every single day. And I think that's where I like really, um, I noticed the corner starting wearing a little bit, but this is a trooper bag and I'm still going strong with it. But super random, cause I'm just looking through my stuff. I got this Bottega wallet from the luxury closet. I think the beginning of this year and it's a little bit worn right there but i wear this like as a clutch like i love old bottega i have been obsessed with old bottega and like the wallet just is was in really good condition especially like the inside um and i can fit my phone in there with no case so it is just like a really good clutch like I just I need to do like a, a bag um collection like should I show you guys like all the bags that I own because I feel like I have some really really cute stuff to show you guys but on the end vlog what is up um so I woke up not too long ago and it's literally like I mean I was in bed rotting to be honest it's 142 but I went to bed at like four we went to bed at four because we were watching TV and I just couldn't fall asleep because I couldn't fall asleep because I already took like a nap in the day. But I'm going to be eating my leftovers from the Cuban restaurant we went to yesterday called Mima's Taste of Cuba. And it's a Cuban style jibarito. And then I'm currently air frying some yuca i wanted to make it a little crispy but i think it's not really gonna work out jibaritos are you know usually like a puerto rican thing but this restaurant had cuban style so it's like a cuban traditional cuban sandwich in the jibarito and this is so so good mm. oh sorry it's good right now but it was even better last night because it was fresh. The tostone was fresh, crispy. I heat this up in the air fryer to like, you know, try to make it crispy, but it's not the same as when you get it fresh, obviously. I just finished eating and now I have the little robo guy working. The brand is Bob Sweet and my mom got him for me. Like a Black Friday deal. And I'm just like, I love this thing so much. It's like my little assistant. My nails, these are actually press-ons, guys. These are press-ons that I glued on with UV gel because they're see-through. Um, now, if it's like an opaque one where, you know, you can't see through, it's not recommended to cure it with gel. Just recommended to only just use nail glue but since these are like see-through they cured all the way and then I put a top coat on them to give it like a salon look and they look so good I hope that they last like two three weeks so that way I don't have to like bother with them but these are like a dollar and 20 cents on TikTok shop but I ordered like a lot press-ons like together so like the total was like 30 or something but it's like so worth it. Like I have so many nails. I'm so set for a long time versus paying for a set like this would probably cost me like $90, so. And like, you know, I started doing that option, the press on option slash doing my own gel X cause I've done two sets of gel X where I'm painting it myself. You know, it, it hasn't turned out the best cause I'm you know, still learning because I'm learning the shape, learning how to use the e-file so that way it doesn't look all lumpy and weird. But this is the press on set, so this one looks really good. But um, this other nail, I mean this other hand, I don't have, I can't put on nails on this finger because my nail actually ripped off. And so far like the good nail is like halfway grown. I don't know if you can see the line, but where the line is, that's where the tip is bad. 
so it's been growing pretty fast but it's just like at this point why would i pay like 90 dollars for a set for it to look like a nail popped off so i might as well just do my own sets as well my stomach is kind of hurting right now i don't know if it was the yuca i don't know my tummy is not feeling good but i need to go take a shower so sorry if this is crooked i have like it hanging literally on this mirror <laughs> but i'm actually going to shave my face so i'm putting on this like shaving cream hot shave cream from the skinny confidential so i know that a lot of people be doing this like i've seen it like with oils and like different like things um i'm doing it through the skinny confidential so they like with their products they recommend using like this so that's what i'm going to be doing even the razors are so cute like a girl is hairy i am latina and i am hairy along with me in my job search so if you don't know is this focused So if you don't know, I am currently unemployed, unemployed because I got laid off from the job that I moved to Chicago for. So that's fun. Um, so I've been looking for a job since May and I've done a lot of, I've done several freelance jobs in the meantime, but that's not you know it's not full-time it's like less than part-time it's not really anything that can keep me alive and sustained um so i've had several job interviews and to be quite frank like it's just like not some of them i'm like overqualified for and they've mentioned to me like you're overqualified and some of them i know that i'm overqualified i'm playing the game and the pace sucks to be completely transparent so I'm just like, the job market out there is so bad. And I'm trying to switch to another industry. And I think it's a bad time to do it. I wanted it to be a good time to do it, but everybody else is getting laid off in the industry that I am <laughs> wanting to change to. So I'm like, <laughs> well, they're definitely gonna get hired over me. Okay, so I am all done. Sorry for the camera moving. I am all done, and I'm just putting this um, rose hip oil on just to moisturize my face. But my face feels it looks so much smoother. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the camera, but I can tell the difference in person. I I am gonna record myself. Um, so we're not doing anything for New Year's Eve. We're gonna stay at home. And I decided that I'm going to make Aperol spritzes for the first time. Welcome to another day. So I actually did not vlog the first, but I'm going to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everybody has a great 2024 and just pouring blessings and opportunities your way. Um, and I definitely appreciate you watching and making it up to this point, at least in my video. So love you guys. Mucho besitos. Love me like, I 
Hey guys, so this room is like my office slash where I be filming slash coat closet. I want to kind of think maybe I should make like a magazine wall here so that way when I'm creating content it looks super cool in the background. But let me know if that'd be cool because um, for filming, like I feel like this is like a good room to film and I've tested it out and it looks really good But it's just like this wall is plain and I want something more like BAM like, you know, something cool interesting This is like my little corner desk because at my last apartment We were like right under 700 square feet. So I had to have my desk in our room When and my boyfriend had his desk in the living room and since we were like basically like remote it, we couldn't be in this we couldn't be working in the same room because we were always on call so now that we have more space i'm like i want to upgrade into a bigger desk but i'm not going to do that until i actually get a job so i've just been using my corner desk and kind of just been putting stuff on the ground i need more storage space because i just put stuff on the ground because i have nowhere else to put it um but yeah i will talk to you guys later because i need to prep for this phone interview and make sure that um i have the right questions and i sound enthusiastic and you know just i be getting so nervous sometimes i'll be having to go to the bathroom like before a phone interview or like a job interview because i'm just like i don't want to mess up but we will get through it with the help of god we will get through it the phone interview and i feel like it went so good but i'm so nervous right now I literally have a tummy ache. You know, like that nervous feeling in your stomach. God, just use me. Just use me because I need to, to do the wonders and the works. Because without you, I'm nothing. So Lord, please. I was just like praying, Lord. So I've been deciding, like what I mentioned before, I'm trying to make like a magazine wall. So I'm actually going through all the magazines I have because I have a lot of Vogue magazines and kind of just like picking what I would want on the wall. I've actually done this before. I did this in my college apartment and I really, really love how it like how it looked. Um, and it's just like something just pretty and aspirational to look at. And I'm kind of also treating it like a mood board type of thing. So, so far I have like all of these like I have several pages that I want to, you know, hang up. I'm really focusing on like brands that I really like and aspire to purchase one day and also um, on diversity on my wall. This right here, I really love this, like this beautiful woman with like her beautiful bag and her outfit is so cute. Just like looking and appreciating art. And that's kind of like, the vibe that I want to be on and that I've been on. I just need to go to more art museums, but I want to take photos in art museums, but sometimes it feels so awkward because it's like, I want to go and look at art, but I also want to take photos. But if I take photos, are people going to think that I'm just there to take photos? So whatever, I'm going to stop caring, but I love, love photos like that. Oh, this one is so cute with these little no, this is like the black version of my dog. This might be a Scottish Terrier. Oh, I miss my little baby so much. So yeah, just stuff like this is like what I like to do. I will update you guys once I've gone through all of them and kind of like, you know, start laying them out and stuff like that. Isn't she so cute? Love her. But yeah, I'm going to the gym. Huh? Is this beeping again? I don't know. I don't know. He's talking about the, um, uh, I forget what that thing is called. The fire alarm thing. Smoke detector. Smoke detector. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I forgot what that's called. I haven't said it by its name in a long time. Smoke detector thing. You replace the battery. Period. 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 Period period okay bye so this is the only thing that i filmed the next day i wasn't really feeling good mentally um so i decided to just finish this magazine wall to boost my 
mood and my creativity and it really did work and I really was happy with the result. Um, I still had to finish this portion that I did off of camera. Do you think that I should fill the magazine wall behind the rack or just leave it like that? Um, let me know down in the comments, but I ended up making content with the background. I think it turned out super cute. So definitely check out my Instagram for the full thing. Hola, mi gente. In the previous clip when I was putting up the magazines on my wall, that was not a good day for me whatsoever. I did not feel like talking to the camera. I was having like a meltdown. It was just like a bad mental health day. So um, yesterday I went and worked out and I felt better. And then today I worked out as well. And you know, I just received some good news in an email. So, you know, just getting my spirits up more. Um, but whew, yeah, just taking a breath of fresh air and a breather and you know, all of that just being real honest with you guys because i'm like girl i think i'm gonna throw it i think i'm gonna throw it i wanted to show you the final result so this is it i put all of these magazines up and i just created content with this in the background with this camera actually it looks so good so i am excited comment down below do you think i should put magazines on the whole wall even though you're not going to be able to see them with this clothing rack here um i'm also going to put like more colorful jackets on here so that way when i'm creating content it just looks more interesting back here i worked out and i keep this headband on so that way like my edges stay straight and when my hair sweats like this catches the sweat it's like a sweat catcher headband anyways so i think i'm going to take out this black leather jacket since I already have black leather in there and I am going to put this Mifflin jacket. I need to wear this again. It's so colorful and loud. That's probably why I haven't, whoop, haven't worn it. My boyfriend actually bought this, but it was too small. So I stole it from him because I wanted, I wanted it anyway. So this I'm going to put here. I think I'm going to put this because of this print. This is from Nasty Gal. But it was a good price and the quality is nice so quality is pretty good for nasty gal but yeah i'm going to add this because oh my gosh i got this on revolve this brand is called hours or something i still haven't worn it this season because i haven't really gone anywhere but isn't this like the best jacket ever i'm over here thinking about oh let me buy me a new leather faux 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 leather faux fur jacket i'm like i already have one right here that cost me like four hundred dollars why do i need another one when i have this expensive one here one right here you have to try this back on not with this crew neck though because it would not fit but this is like a mohair blazer that i got from a vintage shop in indianapolis a, a while ago maybe like a year and a half or two years ago so cute i'm gonna add this in here because it's just like <sighs> so cute and it's a blazer it's not really a jacket but it just looks cute on the rack this bag that i'm actually selling so if you want a coach city bag leather vintage that i found i literally thrifted this be my guest i will put the link down below but okay so this is it this is what this looks like now i feel like there's so much let me turn this around i feel like there has there's so much more color and vibrancy in here just like for when i'm making content just so you can see in the back like Okay, this girl loves color. This girl loves styling. Like, this is what I love. I think for I think for way too long I've been like wanting to be part of like the minimalist vibe. Like everything is minimal, everything is a solid color, which I do love. I do love that. But 
I'm also a person that loves to dress in color. I'm going to wrap this up right here because I think my um, camera is going to die. But thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram and all my socials below. And please remember to subscribe and like this video for more. Muchos besos. Bye, guys.